Okay, we are from Biomass Resin Holdings from Japan. Rice will save not only Japan, but the world. This is a presentation about limitless possibility of rice resin. Our main product is rice resin, composed material mixed and kneaded with biomass. We have pioneered and patented a technique to mix rice with alpine resin. Here are some of biomass rice resin product in the market. Plastic waste is a great environmental problem in the society now. Every year, 8 million tons of plastic waste flow into the oceans. If this trend continues, the amount of plastic waste will exceed the amount of fish by 2050. According to the report, 4.82 million tons of polypropylene and polyethylene are produced annually in Japan with the market value at 1.66 trillion yen. The Japanese government has set a goal of having 2 million tons, roughly half of the market, to be compromised of biomass plastic in the future. Limited supply and high global demand is concern. Domestic supply is insufficient for Japanese biomass plastic adoption required to achieve CO2 reduction targets. As a government across the world are adopting similar plastic reduction policies, biomass region is in high demand. Currently, the main source of biomass plastic resin in Japan is U.S. produced corn and Brazilian produced sugarcane, which total up to 50,000 tons only by a year. However, with the rice as an alternative source, the possibility of rice-based biomass resin will increase limitlessly. Reduction in the rice demand and depressed rice farmer income is another concern. As a result, arable land is led to waste. The area of Japanese arable land abundant is estimated at 420,000 hectares, an area greater than the city of Beijing. The Biomass Resin Holdings benefit from this initiative as we plan to cultivate rice as a raw material for biomass plastic. Cultivating rice for a purpose of producing a biomass resin, we help Japan in reducing its carbon footprint, reutilize its abundant farmland, and creating new employment. To address these set of problems, we have come up with a unique business model that leverages novel technologies, innovative agribusiness, and focus on the environment. Our advantage of production plans. We are planning to expand nationwide and aim to have 10 domestic facilities with an annual yield of 100,000 tons of rice resin production by 2025. Our main source of rice is from distributing loss, crushed rice, rice flour from sake shaving, and disaster demanded rice. Aside from producing rice for network, we have applied for an approval to make use of government rice reserves. Rice required in rice resin production does not need to be edible grade. This allows us to leverage the benefit of automated rice cultivation, mainly use of robots. This greatly enhances productivity and efficiency of material production. For this, we have established smart agriculture relations in Namiya Fukushima, where rice fields have been abundant since the earthquake in 2011. Initially, all the production from rice cultivation to resin production we will take place in Fukushima, and later we will expand nationwide. This Fukushima plant will also serve as a large-scale production model for ASEAN. The outlook is improve our factory production towards 2030, while now focusing on securing the domestic market for biomass plastics, we aim to have a group sales of 56.8 billion yen to conduct and to conduct our IPO by 2025. We also gradually increase the biomass rate in our rice region by collaborating with the Kyoto University as a product research and development for domestic produced biodegradable rice region in the near future. A few of our operations are already contributing to UN Sustainable Development Goals. This is our group list. 
seven companies, including affiliated companies, are developing their business led by biomass resin holdings. Here are the core management team of Smart Agri-Relation Company Limited. We are confident that we can impact the future with rice resin. We are looking for partners to join us on a journey to change the world with the rice resin. Our goal is to have a contribution, plastic innovation for tomorrow, which lasts well into the next century. We at the Biomass Resin Holdings strive to be an environmental venture company that brings people across Asia together through a mutual recognition and collaboration. Thank you for your attention and your earth consciousness with the limitless possibility by Rice Resin. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your presentation. So now, uh, uh, from Jajit side, uh, please some uh, have some comments and questions. Yeah, good presentation. By the way, what is the pro project uh, of the, your uniqueness or advantage comparing with uh, China? and the rest of the world our uniqueness is basically faced uh, focused on the rice for biomass resin just only your project yeah we tried uh, bamboo and other uh, biomass but the rice is very effective in the way to uh, produce and before the resin production uh, it is very uh, ecologically friendly <laughs> Unique. And, and then also uh, producing this resin, rice is uh, very easy to make in Japan and we have such abundant land of rice field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why we focused on the rice. That's right. Okay. So I had two uh, quick questions. Um, one is about the, the form of the rice because you're talking about cultivating rice and then you're also talking about using some waste and cast off rice. I was just wondering what's the balance between those. And then second, which is kind of related, you're talking about producing the resin and the facilities for that, but you're also talking about cultivating the rice and using the robotic farming, which is good. Obviously you're addressing the problem of a lack of farmers. We have land, right. but we don't have farmers here, but these are two very different businesses. And for a startup, you're talking about having the production facility and the cultivating facility. I'm just wondering if you could explain a little bit why as a new venture you can handle such completely different businesses. As we said, uh, Japanese government is uh, a lack of biomass resin, uh, including uh, sugarcane or corn. So we thought uh, we could uh, al alternatively use rice as a new biomass uh, technology in Japan. So we need to, uh, of course, create a factory, but we need more resins here in Japan to meet our co uh, reduction of carbon uh, CO2 here in Japan. So we are expanding our growth of uh, production of rice uh, by using abundant land, like in Fukushima, and uh, also we are also using high-tech robots to make efficient and effective agriculture, smart agri, uh, and that we can produce a lot of uh, rice resins so that we can uh, help to meet Japanese uh, government target. That is why we are doing uh, this smart agri. Uh, also, we are making uh, uh, from production rice to production of resin. We are doing everything together. Uh, you have uh, two different uh, objectives, right? Yeah, we we could have actually more. We'd like to because we need. We are very short of resins here in Japan, and it's uh, very much uh, supply and demand is not meeting here. Not only in Japan, but all over the world, I think. Mm -hmm. And what's your breakdown between cultivated and waste rice? You mean the percentage-wise? 
Yeah, so what do you lean more heavily on? Because the reason I ask is if it would make more sense if you're leaning more heavily on the waste, then you don't have to worry about the cultivation and manage yeah. two completely separate businesses. We are currently focusing on our damaged rice and then uh, market loss, and also the old stocked rice from the government. Uh, and like you know, disaster, uh, disaster rice uh, by typhoon, and then all sorts of those uh, rice for reuse. We made a reused rice to uh, rice resin, but uh, that is always not uh, a fixed uh, amount of rice that we can get to make a rice resin. So. At this, uh, in Japan, we want to use abundant land to use a high-tech agriculture business by robots to create more rice. And so that can be effective, not for only us, but also for the industry of agriculture and then farmers. And for many benefits, we thought this would be a great uh, business model. So that's why we are doing this and then we will we, we haven't built a smart agri uh, business model yet. We just launched our company in September 2020. So n from the next season, we are going to plant our rice in Fukushima. And then we will uh, starting this high-tech uh, smart agriculture business. Did I answer your question, sir? Joe? Yeah, thank you. No, that uh, that makes sense. And um, yeah, and actually, we are planning to uh, operate more factories, not only in Fukushima, but also one in uh, Kumamoto and Osaka, and also uh, Kochi, Shikoku. And so, this is our plan. Uh, within these five years, we're going to uh, launch at least four factories in a different locations so that we can produce more rice and collect from collected rice, uh, we can make more resins. That's our plan, so. By the way, my recognition is uh, uh, rice supply is very much over than demand. Is it correct? A lot of stocks, rice stocks in Japan now. Is it yes. Correct? Uh, yes, because the consumption of rice is actually uh, every year annually getting lower and lower by uh, Japanese citizens because uh, there are a lot of subsidized food like you know wheat and, and pasta and a lot of things. So that's why uh, supply and demand of the rice market is not effectively uh, meeting right now. So we're trying to, of course, uh, earn the benefit from this uh, loss of the rice, mm -hmm. uh, which is stocked rice. And then if we apply this governmental uh, reserved rice, uh, we could get this aged and um, old rices also for the biomass use. Mr. Kedam, uh, the problem in Japan is that uh, a substantial number of rice fields are not used right now exactly. because the demand of rice in Japan is so exactly. low. And so, so the rice breading the company is trying to solve this problem also. Yes. <laughs> exactly, sir. There are about, uh, you know, abundant land is a total of like size of uh, city of Beijing. So it's, it's very, very vast land. And then, you know, people are getting old and farmers are not making money. So there are so many lands that, you know, uh, just abounded and wasted. And we want to use it effectively. Okay, so uh, time is up. So uh, uh, judges, uh, please start scoring. And uh, uh, we will have a uh, short break. So uh, next presentation will start 11 o'clock. Uh, so thank you for your presentation. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, please scoring uh, this team and uh, take a break. And we will start uh, at 11. Thank you.
Thank you.